We did it. We successfully developed a digital twin application on the iTwin platform. We now have a smart house app that effectively visualizes our digital twin. We have markers throughout the house to identify different smart devices. And when we hover over the markers, we get statuses for those devices that come in from another data source. And towards the right, we have a navigation widget to navigate to specific smart devices. And we got all this done with just around uh, 250 lines of code, which I think is pretty impressive. So now let's do a quick recap of everything we did to get to this place. So we started out with this use case, which we broke down into four parts. The first part was to create our digital twin out of our DGN file. So we started out with a design file of a house model, which we use a synchronizer to push into the AdTwin platform. And then we were able to visualize it within the cloud using the default viewer. Once we had our design data on the cloud, we took a little break from our use case. We took a detour to understand how our data has changed now that it's in the digital twin. At this point, we introduced Biz and how it builds a foundation for unifying multiple infrastructure domains and applications. And we also got acquainted to the tools for iModel data discovery, which includes the Schema Explorer for exploring our schemas and also the iModel console for writing queries against our digital twin. And we took the example of writing the query to get all our smart devices within our twin. At this point, we uh, broke the rule and reversed out of our exit and went back into our use case. The next step, once we got our model onto the cloud, was to pull it within a local iTwin application. So we cloned a copy of the iTwin viewer, which is our starter app, and we configured it to pull our house model. Once we had our house model loaded in within the iTwin viewer, we were ready to start customizing it. And the first modification we made was to refine our visualization of the model so we can see through the walls and actually look at the smart devices throughout the house. And we were able to accomplish this by using categories and view attributes. Once we had our visualization set up, we were in the perfect place to grow our digital twin by adding a data connection to it. So we looked into this uh, smart device endpoint, a very simple one, which had a JSON echo of all the smart devices and their statuses. We connected it to our iTwin app. And then we figured out how we would combine the data coming in from our data source and the model of the house. And the way to do that was to look into this uh, smart device query that we made previously, which has a list of all the smart devices, the smart device IDs, and the EC instance IDs. The EC instance IDs pointed towards the actual 3D element of the smart device in the model, and the smart device ID is what connects it to our smart device database. Once our data connection was made, we were ready to start displaying our smart device statuses using markers. At this point, we added some basic markers to point to different smart devices throughout the house. We made them smarter by adding tooltips that display the statuses of those devices. And finally, to top it off, we added a couple of simple UI widgets. One was a button to turn off and on the walls of the house, and the other was a navigation widget to list all the smart devices throughout the house and uh, click on a particular device and zoom into it. And adding these markers and UI was the final step that uh, wrapped up our application. Now it's great that we figured out how to solve this particular use case, but in the next video, let's see how we can apply the same knowledge to solve other industry use cases.